we're going to go through today is show you how to calibrate your techno heat mantle so first things first we're going to talk about how the temperature works on uh, most temperature sensing devices they're almost never actually accurate you can go through multiple mantles side by side and they'll always tell you something different so our mantle is really well adjusted uh, for the calibration when you install it so the procedure to do this calibration is first you'll put pump oil into the mantle. In this case, it's a little bit cold outside and we're doing a dual type of calibration. One of them is for the thermo well, which is always gonna be a couple degrees different than the liquid. So what we do is we keep these together and I cover this with foil just for the calibration because our room is a lot colder. All right, so to start off with this calibration, what we've done is we've filled the actual flask with pump oil. You can use thermo oil, but in this case, pump oil is pretty effective. Uh, you don't want to go above 200 Celsius or you might want to use a different type of oil. So we put in some general I-19 oil and we put air through our probe in here through the thermal well and then we put the uh, two vapor probes into the flask. This will read the fluid temperature and as well on the well, except the well will always be a couple degrees off. So what you do is slowly go up to your temperature point. In this case, we've hit 160. That's the temperature that we want to be at. So uh, sometimes if your probes are off for the, from the, from the get-go, what you're going to do is start off at like 100, 120, and then adjust it from there. In this case, we were about five or six uh, degrees off, so when we hit 150, we were already close to the 160 range. We started the calibration. So what's really important is how the standard temperature sensor works. These probes are a lot more robust, and they'll go through a lot more, um, a lot more you know, cleaning and a lot more roughness when you touch them versus a low mass probe except these ones will give you an instantaneous uh, reading so this is a traceable thermometer this is an actual temperature thermometer that you'd use in a scientific process to give you an exact reading it's not like mantles or other heat systems where they're pretty close but they have to be adjusted so what we'll do is we'll heat everything up and we'll actually wait a few hours and get it to stabilize and it doesn't really matter what any of this says what matters is what this th uh, th thermometer says so when we go to calibration, we take this and you just want to touch the fluid. So I'll bend this. Now these thermometers are very delicate. They're not robust. They're sort of cheap, but they're really accurate because uh, they're not necessarily built with this stainless steel enclosure to protect it. It's just meant to take a, uh, a reading. So I could probably get like a few months of calibration use with this thing and then it's done. So you'll put, you'll turn on your thermometer and you'll set it to the point one feature. And then what you'll do is you'll put this into the oil and now you have an actual reading of what it's gonna say. So in this case, we're gonna be right around 160. And so we pull this out and let's say we've read 160 and you'll do the math. You come back over to the mantle side and then you go to the second, to, second from the top on the right is the settings. Click on that and you'll go into the actual settings with the password of one, two, three, four. And now you're into the brain and on the very last page you'll have the bias so whatever the temperature of your nist certified or traceable uh thermometer is going to be you then calculate it and add or subtract however many values you need and then you press return so now it'll sit the next step is to let it sit for about an hour or two more because sometimes these readings aren't exactly alike. Uh, they'll be, you know, a couple decimals apart. So you'll let it sit and balance back out. Sometimes I'll turn it down a couple degrees so there's no energy being brought on it. So I want the jackets to balance out. I will then repeat the process once or twice after that. And only after that, when the system settles and stops adjusting, there's a button here for mantle tuning and jacket tuning. You will then hit those two buttons and walk away. Now the system has a point of reference. Uh, that point of reference is what it'll, it'll tune all the jackets, um, all the sensors, everything to. Um, sometimes if you have a different power source where it's not exactly stable, you may have to repeat this process once or twice. And that's just because the tuning adds uh, decimals to the equation. And so the, the, the more you tune it, the, the finer that accuracy will become. So I wanted you guys to understand how the system is designed. The tuning is roughly 
as accurate as it can get from the factory. The only issue is if your frequency or your voltage is off a little bit, the sensors perform slightly different. So that's what the whole process of calibration is. We don't supply the NIST certified thermometer. However, you can purchase them through Amazon. The one that we chose here was from Control Company, traceable brand. Uh, goes all the way up to 1300 Celsius. This will hit about 250 Celsius accurately, and this is a traceable certified thermometer. You'd be surprised how many thermometers we purchased from Amazon and also tested throughout the board on other mantles, and none of them were even remotely close. A couple of them were within a couple of degrees apart, but some of them were 10 plus, it, it didn't matter. The point was when we got this one, this one gave us an actual reading that we could trust. So that's why we do our calibration with this type of thermometer. If you have any questions, please send us an email. You're always welcome to call the shop. And remember, uh, once you do this calibration, this mantle will not overshoot your material. It will uh, creep up to it very slowly, and then when it hits it, uh, it'll actually go a little bit slower, and then touch, and right when it touches it, it won't send, um, right when the temperature reaches your, your point of uh, where it's set, it won't engage any more heat on the system. It'll actually prevent it from overshooting. So that is a little bit complex of a procedure and programming for it to, 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 to be able to do that without the calibration. So that's why you have to calibrate it and make sure everything's on point. After calibrating it, you'll be able to turn these things on, set them to temperature, and the temperature will not move at all. Thank you.